Okay, hello guys, so this is the Realme 3 Pro and in this video I'll show you how to flash custom ROM Santa OS based on Android 13 Okay, all the file and step I will provide in my blog you can check in the, in the link in the description box Okay, so stay tuned and check it out Okay, hello guys, Assalamualaikum, I'm with again with Ombob and today I have a Realme phone in my hand <clears throat> this is the Realme 2 Pro and today we are going to try to flash the custom recovery using Android 13 on Sandra OS okay. the code name is RMX1801 and in here it's still using the color OS based on Android 9 okay so to be noted to install a custom ROM the latest one you can use the base color OS Android 9 or Realme, Realme UI 1 Android 10 okay doesn't matter <clears throat> the difference is just how to do the unlock bootloader okay so first thing to do is let's enable the developer option I hit the build number five times go back go to the additional settings and then the developer option <coughs> and make sure that you have turned on the YM unlock okay like this okay and one more thing this is very important so this makes attention to this okay scroll down and you will see the option camera health tree in here make sure to turn it on okay this is very important because if you do not turn this on some of the custom rom some of the camera on the custom rom will not work okay so i repeat it one more time you must enable the camera health tree okay if you want all the camera work on the custom rom okay so just turn it on if if it asks for reboot just reboot after that you can continue to do unlock boot order and then pressing custom ROM mm -hmm. and then let's go to the file manager in here I already have the in-depth test okay select the file and install the apps okay and it's for your information this is only needed for the color s Android 9 okay so for the uh, realme UI 1 Android 10 you don't need this one okay just hit start applying check I have read submit application application submitted go back and check your status right here okay it said submitted for review it usually takes about one to three minutes okay after that it can be approved let's check again no it doesn't need one minute review successfully okay so hit the start in depth test right here and it will automatically reboot to the fast boot mode okay now you need to uh, plug your c cable and we're going to switch the screen so this is the step okay i will put all the step and if i need it in my blog you can check the link in the description box okay and now let's open the cmd right here next step we need to type this command facebook flashing unlock hit enter and you can select the menu you can navigate using the volume down volume up and applying using the using the power button okay so select the unlock the bootloader and it will start uh, automatic reboot and formatting the data okay so if you don't want to wait until it goes to the home screen you can always go to the facebook mode again okay okay it will start formatting the data and okay 
and then I'm I'm pressing the form down and power button again so it goes to the uh press put mode again okay you can see right here the device state is now unlocked it means that we have successfully press the uh, sorry successfully unlocked the bootloader okay now let's try to <clears throat> press the custom ROM okay press put flash recovery and let's try to use the <clears throat> latest one okay we're going to try to use the theory b3.7 okay done and next we need to go to the custom recovery you can go by selecting the menu okay if you get using the power button select recovery mode and hit power button to apply okay let's wait until it goes to the some recovery and now we are in the custom recovery okay the next step is we need to back up the fs modem okay if there's something wrong we can always restore it okay so hit the back backup menu go to the option tab enable compression for smaller size okay. and then select the EFS and okay I like to back up the boot image also and let's put it into the micro SD okay let's set up a name realme 2 pro Okay, done. Now let's swipe it, <clears throat> and when it finishes, we can wipe the Delphic and cask also. Okay, so go to the wipe menu right here, advanced wipe, then select the Delphic cask and that uh, swipe it. <clears throat> done. Next, go to the install menu and we need to flash the firmware update for this one okay the firmware update is based on firmware f12 this is the last realme 2 pro update okay select the file and swipe it okay the size is about 142 megabyte done now let's go back and now install the center os swipe it okay and it will take some time because the size is about 1.3 gigabyte and it is already included gaps so you don't need to install the gaps again and now it's done okay so hit the home menu go to the web select format data and tap yes we need to format the internal storage just to make sure uh, everything is all right okay now hit the reboot system and we'll wait okay usually <clears throat> booting for the first time takes times but for the custom rom it's faster than the stock rom okay okay let's just wait so nice now we have a boot logo in our pond using the center os and let's skip this one so now we are in the home screen and i have installed some apps right here okay so let's go to the settings system here we go uh, sorry i mean about pon rmx 1801 this is the realme 2 pro and it's using android 13 on usandar os the code name is tangkuban tangkuban prahu <laughs> okay so let's check a little bit okay the full option <clears throat> and it's using two giga memory from total four gigabyte very nice uh, okay let's go to the let's go to the storage okay it takes about 
2.1 gigabyte quite small and <clears throat> it's usually asked by some of you guys does the offline charger work yes it does so you can use the offline charging okay gps also working okay no problem with the gps and okay let's check this back right here realme 2 pro okay cpu it's using snapdragon 660 14 nanometer 64 byte and cpu clock range is between 600 and 1.9 GHz. <clears throat> yeah nice okay that's all guys i hope it helps you and if you have any question feel free to ask in the comment section okay so see you in the next video